Hi guys, so today we're gonna make the cream sauce bracelet. I'm gonna make the improved one. These two, you see um these two are not the improved ones. These are the original designs. This one is the new design. Um I call these the yogurt bands. You can buy it like I don't know, like I just bought it somewhere. So yeah, let's get started. First of all you need um rubber bands. This is my whole set. And as for the seat clips. So, if you want to get started, let's get started. First of all, you. So, now I'm just gonna show you. So, first of all, what I'm gonna show you is first, you need your arrows pointing this way, okay? Okay, yeah, here. So, let's get started. First, we're gonna put our place our middle colored band. Place it here like that. Take your next color. Place it there. Take your next color. I'm doing the mega rainbow color, so don't mind not me. So just go, do that ziggy zag all the way to the end. Ah, my green. Sorry about my hand blocking the way. So I'm just gonna speed this up now. Okay, so it's up to here. But actually, I'm supposed to go here, but I, I need to go here because, like, I don't like pat. Like, I want to have a pattern to this. So now, let's get. Let's, like, place the border bands. Just twist it like that. Anyways, it's Hyperloop. We're sorry, guys. I didn't like say my username. It's because I'm in a rush. Oh yeah, guys. Um, just go back here first. Then just add a. Let's take this off now. For now, just take this off. Just leave it like that. 
and then you place this band. Just twist it back on. So now you place anyways by the way we're just only using single bands, so don't use double. Then twist it all the way to the to the end. And we would be on our hooking process. This bracelet is very nice to wear actually. I'll just tell you that. It's very nice to wear, but don't wear three of them. It's because um it would be itchy. Just wear one. One like just wear one every day. So like just wear only one bracelet on your arm. Don't wear at least two. I can wear two. But if I wear three I think it's very itchy, so yeah. There, so now let's go to Remember your arrows are not pointing this way. Just go back here. And we're gonna place a single band and then we are gonna wrap it three two times. So one and a two. Now we need your hook. And I forgot to say hook. Say that you need your hook. Because like so I haven't even posted a video so that's why I forgot what to say a bit. Say so yeah. So first So yeah. Sorry guys, you don't So you actually have to place this single band first. That I kind of forgotten. So it might get mud up, okay? And please subscribe and please subscribe and like thanks TH thanks for that notice. So yeah. And I just wrap that two times. Just push the cap and then grab the single band. Now I'm gonna like move everything thickly here. Grab the single band. Hook it there. Then continue it all the way to the end. So just grab the single band, place it there. So yeah, just grab the single band. See, I will do it one more time. Place it. Grab the single band and place it here. Grab the single band, place it there. Grab the single band and then place it. Now I'm gonna continue it. Yeah. So I'm gonna continue it. Continue, grab the single band and place it. And then I'll teach you how to do the other end over here, okay? So I'll do it fast. If you've forgotten, please like go back, okay? Because um like, seriously, a new hook. Okay, there. So once when you got here, you're gonna take the single band and go diagonally here. Now this part would be hard to hook. So you just like grab that single band. Oh, man. I just got wrong. I placed the bands wrong. Again. So like this, uh, the improved one might not be that easy. So, yeah, so place your band here. Now I'm gonna just stretch it here. Place your single band, like this part, and then just twist it there. And I kind of got mud up with that part. So just, I'm gonna just grab the single band. Place it there, do that again. So we must push everything and then grab the single band. Push, push these white bands. And if you don't push it, it won't work. So, and you can grab the bands and then grab the other band across. See, you gotta grab the, push all the bands and then grab the other band like that. So it's quite hard to do. 
And this, when you're hooking, this part would be hard. Just grab this part. There. Now, remember, push all the bands, all these um, hooked bands, and then grab the single band. So I'll do it fast. Fast for you guys to see, okay? So yeah, this part is very hard, so you must like push back the bands, push all those like um forward bands, and then hook like that. See, I'll show it to you one more time, then we might can get ready. Get ready for the hook, hooking the middle process. Now it's not that easy, okay? Hooking the middle is not that easy. It's quite easy, but it might your bands might break. And hooking this the border is very hard to me. So yeah, let me do it fast. And this bracelet is quite advanced. So yeah. Anyways, this is called the Queen's bracelet. If you're if you're mistaken by the lock chain bracelet, it's kind of like the lock chain bracelet, the pattern itself, but it's like a single, like the long chain bracelet is like together. So yeah, so like I will, I will tell made by mommy, and I think it was made by mommy, there's so many mommy, DIY mommy or made by mommy. Um, I will like put down a comment for you that made by mommy's link. And I'll show you the difference between the cream Swiss bracelet and what I call it, the cream Swiss bracelet. So yeah. Oh man, so tired. So, when you get to the end, just like here, just grab the band, band and then place it there. Now I'm gonna teach you how to hook the middle part. You must hook it. So just push all these bands here. Grab the single band and place it there. Push all the bands and then grab your next band you didn't hook. Then it will show you where to go. Push all those bands. Grab the grab the like the single band in front of you. Then hook it where the direction it will show you. Do that again. One, I will show it to you like one more time. So like, yeah. Push all the bands like that. Grab the single band and then place it on the peg you need to put it. Gra push all the bands, grab the single band. Place it where you need to put it, like that. So I'll do a fast one, okay guys? Just drop my loom. So yeah, this part is also quite hard, but to me it's easy. So like, just best is to learn how to make a triple single. Make tons of those. Triple single or waterfall, so make tons of those and you might get it a bit. So yeah. So I would have a tutorial how to make a triple single. Thanks for watching. So, once when you hook all of them, and see here, once when you hook all of them, just put your hook under it, take a single band of your border color, fold it, and then just take it out. Now it's finished. You see, now it's finished. So now what you do, is take your S clip or C clip, and then just hook just like clip it, see? Oh, sorry. My hand is blocking the camera. See, so just clip it like that. If you need to extend it, I'll teach you how to extend it. So, first of all, you need your, um, you need your mini loom. Okay. Okay, guys. So, first of all, what you do, just hold on to it, okay? So you must make a single chain. Best is to learn how to make a single chain before you make this person. 
So first, what you do is just take the first side of your of your single band here, place it on top. Now place the other one, whoa, on top. Okay. Now grab your one of your border bands. Place it on top of the mini loom like that. Then just take the bottom band. Place it on top. Right there. Then take another band. And then take the bottom band and place it on top. Do that again and again and you would get it. Just don't do it. Make it too long or else it won't fit you. So there. So once when you're done, just take it out of the mini loom. Fold it like this. Now just take your S clip or C clip, like S clip, hook it there, see, now just take your other end, the white end, then place it here, like, whoa, like this. So thanks for watching my tutorial. Bye guys!